Ooh. Oh, I thought I saw a face there. <laughs> but it was just blood on the wall. And a new teddy. Yay. Teddy. Ah. That's poisonous now. What? More experiments with compound X. Took the dog and injected it with strychnine. After ex the expected convulsions and spasming, it died just after midnight. I immersed the body in, in a large tank of compound X and introduced an alternating current via induction coil for a period of three and a half minutes. Partial return was induced. However, damage incurred prior to death was retained upon revival, meaning the dog continued in the acute state of strychnine poisoning until I put a bullet in its skull. But drowning? Perhaps yes. It is after all known to be the kindest of suicides. If one were to drown, replacing the food in the, l food in the lungs with compound X should theoretically be perfectly possible as a revival method. Ooh. Nice. Teddy. We are going to do science. Ooh. Hey, is this here again? Is this? Oh. Ah. The pipes were leaking, so it flowed out from where it went into there. Nice. I have to go now, to the end of this, so that I can uh, fill in one of the three fuses that I need. I can't jump up again this way. No, those aren't fuses, they're chemicals. Aha. But where did I go for this? That was the holding pens. So then I'm done with those. Low temperature storage. It fell onto his hands and they eroded in front of me. To stumps. To stumps. Next time we will use an equal mix of infusion vita and orgone disperser. No, no, just take him out. You could dump him in the river for all I care. Uh, where is the thing I need? Aha! There it is. That wasn't so hard. Inflamed it is, burning it does. Bleeding from each hole, fore and aft. Leaking down my legs. Blood and excrement. My lungs are in my vomit. I pass clots of my organs now onto the filthy stone. Drink this, he says. And I did drink it. I did do that because of the changes. They ripple in on me. My teeth sneeze out and scatter like mice in the dark. I cannot find them all. Gathering what I can, push them back into my grey gums with my fingers. But the nails are all weepy and falling out. Drink it, he says. It'll help the running of the fever. Because not at all can take the change. On the other table, a beast under a blanket. I never wanted to see under that. But he drank it too. He passed it under the blanket. And I heard it drink. Dear God Almighty. How can a man shit so much blood and still live? I have no idea, but now I have two of the th three things I seem to need. Oh, is this somewhere else? Is it? I think it is. Ah, the pig is following me. The pig was following me. But now I'm back here. Good. 
Okay. That's not going there. And it's going here. Aha. Uh -huh. It wants me to push. What? I, I think this may have been a bad idea. The door's closed. Will this become gas? Um. Do I take it up then? Since the noise is coming from there. And... Um. Oh, of course! Haha! -ha. <laughs> you wrote it! <laughs> I completely forgot about that. But I should have one more, I think. Unless both of them were collected in one of the things. Okay, that's useless. Good to know. I only get one out of doing that. But I can leave now. Blood. Here, Daddy. Faster, faster. Sure, sure. I'm coming, kid. Oh. Well. Okay. What's going on? Is that a skull I see? That's a hole. But oh, those are bones. There are bones here. Nice. These are the dumped corpses. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. Thank God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. Oh, doorway. Um. I don't trust this. Oh. Okay. There's a pig here. So I'm not going there. There's a lurker here as well. Seriously. And it's electric. Hmm. So that means I can't enter the water because of the electricity, I think. Oh. I can enter it, but then the lurker will come, and that's not too good. Sleeves one. Uh, where's number two? Oh, hello. I'm guessing that voice is a pig. Several of the older forms have breached their containment area and escaped into the sewers. They remind me of my limitations. This is no Chelm, and I am no Eliyahu. At least, not quite yet. It is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open that is to blame. We can't simply pack them about with coolant as we do at the center where the doorway is. The later versions are kept safe by freezing temperature by the freezing temperature of those towers. Up here, where the air is hot and fetid, they become overheated, and their duality tears them asunder. As uh, the other peas, the other place flies from their cells and their vitae splinters. They live sporadically, turn from one world to the other, 
and back again in violent, unpredictable bursts. For a few seconds, they are creatures of this world. Then they are torn away and cease to have a physical form. This vicious ripping back and forth between worlds has driven them quite insane. I've ordered the affected areas sealed and will not allow my loyal workers to enter. These are jammed places now. The abode of failed experiments. Ghosts of fear and spite. So that basically explains why the monsters are disappearing randomly. Nice. Got, an, got a good explanation on that. I can't drag that. Okay. But what has happened out here? This has still not been drained. And the lurker thing is still there. This way, I guess. No, that's where the pig was. Um, have I been here? That may be where I came from. I'm not sure which way I came from. There's garbage here. That's locked. So I'm going this way. Hmm. Loose gate 2. So that's the one I need to drain. Loose gate 1. Lurker, stop it. Uh, okay, where do I go to open that gate properly? Or is it open? I'm not sure. Maybe it's just barely open and not something I can actually see naturally uncle B once bled the product must be scalded the haired and scraped ready for gamb rolling and eviscration for this we pass them through the steam reservoir which is kept at a constant temperature by passing excess high pressure venting from the engines the other bo and the series of large copper pipes into a stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the center of the machine, there is a component that must be kept at a constantly low temperature, which controls operations of the processing of product throughout the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is of the utmost importance in retaining product quality. And this also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine. Two problems are therefore combined into a single solution. The removal of heat from some areas and the requirements for increased heat in others. Conducting panels draw heat using the principles of convection regulated by the boiler and sending freezing air along one set of pipes in one direction and superheated vapors in another. Okay, why was that at the corpse? I will never know. Okay, this is where I came down, originally. Hmm. This way. If I can go through this. And I can. Because then I can access a new area. I can't possibly go in there, but I'll check up here first. Oh. Pointless. But we can save them. We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Madness, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your engineer. This visionary with whom you have embarked upon this course, does he share your views? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. 
And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. So where was that pig shouting from? I kind of want to know.